Welcome to the Torch Update. I'm Alex Whitman, Editor-in-Chief of The Torch, Ferris State University's one and only student newspaper. Keep watching for a roundup of Ferris news for the week of October 9th, 2013. In campus crime this week, Ferris's Department of Public Safety reported an assault on State Street near McDonald's. On October 2nd at 2.10 a.m., an unknown male struck a male victim in the face before running off to the east. Anyone with information is asked to contact DPS. On September 30th at 9.30 p.m., officers stopped a vehicle on State Street. The passenger had a warrant for his arrest in Macosta County and was lodged in the county jail. Marijuana was found in the vehicle and a warrant request was sent to the prosecutor's office. Now for the week's ticket totals. From September 26th through October 3rd, the Department of Public Safety reported 352 violations. Each violator was ticketed for a total of $5,990. Switching gears, students were displaced and sleeping on floors following the electrical fire and power outage that began affecting West Campus in the early hours of October 2nd. Starting September 30th and running until October 5th, Ferris celebrated Homecoming Week. This year's celebrations featured a beach bash theme. Homecoming activities included a lip sync, comedian, kickball tournament, parade, and the football game. The Bulldogs, who unveiled their new scoreboard, were ultimately defeated by Saginaw Valley. That's all for this segment, but for more Ferris-related news, check out The Torch on Newsstands Now. New issues come out every Wednesday, and every edition is also available on our website. You can also like The Torch on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, at FSU Torch. Once again, I'm Alex Whitman, Torch Editor-in-Chief. Thanks for watching this week's Torch Update. Keep reading, Ferris.